everybody. It is Wednesday at 11.30. Um, and I thought I'd just pop on here and say hi. Uh, because I don't even know if the clip that I filmed yesterday will exist in this video. Um, so if it does, great. But if not, this is like the second time you're seeing me in this whole video. So hello. Um, I look pretty uh, terrifying right now. Uh, I told you this in my clip on Monday, but that was like my best state. And then, sorry, there's like, it's stuck to the bottom of this jar. Um, Monday is like my best day. And then I just got like more monster looking from there. Um, so that's what we're dealing with. But I'm taking all of my vitamins and I'm about to go do my skincare routine. I'm also gonna get dressed because I'm currently in pajamas. And yes, I know it's 11.30, but I literally have only been out for like an hour. So uh, cut me some slack. Anyway, I will get dressed. I will. I'll feel like more human the next time you see me. Um, maybe not, I don't know. Um, like I said, this is not uh, very savable at the moment. These are what I use. So this is an organic rice toner. Um, I'm almost out of it, but I still have like three other toners that I need to burn through, so that's fine. I really like this. It's organic, obviously, so it's really good for your skin. And it smells really nice. And it's like, it doesn't irritate it or anything. And sometimes with toners, you have to be careful, especially like if they say scented or something. And then after toner, I put on this. This is a vitamin C face serum. And it just, it's got hyaluronic acid and, um, plant stem cells and it smells like oranges and um it just helps like your skin like heal and um it gives it good nutrients and vitamins and other things and then after the face serum i put on this this is grown alchemist uh biological beauty hydro repair day cream um this camellia and geranium blossom and so i do a little dollop of this and then that is my skincare routine hopefully it will fix this i don't know but i am looking disastrous at the moment so maybe in the next clip i'll be a little better and hopefully my hair will have figured out something all right so here we are post uh makeup skincare application whatever you want to call it uh what are we thinking do i look less monstrous leave your thoughts in the comments i think it's a bit better jeez sorry i think it's a bit better but what do we think Ugh. hello everybody today we have a very big day at least in my terms of the big day um Today I have to clean out the closet, uh, which is going to be a super fun and fantastic task. And you're all going to come along on the journey with me. 85% of it is how I want it. Like the clothes are fine, the clothes are always organized. And then I finally organized all of my shoes. I think I'm gonna go through the bins one more time because there's some summer stuff that I kind of wanna get out so then there's room for more of my winter stuff and then I finally um put my craft box in an area where I will be able to access it because there are so many things in there that I have not been able to use because for some reason I put them on the very top shelf so I moved those um but then I also want to today deal with like the bottom like the floor there's just so much stuff like thrown in there and there's like pictures and different things um so i'm gonna do that and then also kind of the big main task i don't know if i can i'll bring you closer um come with me i'm also 
organizing stuffed animals. That is all of my stuffed animals that I've had for literally years. Um, and I need to organize them because they're kind of all floating all over the place in my closet. So I think if I got the stuffed animals organized, it would give me a lot more peace of mind. So that is today. We are going to be doing a lot of cleaning. You will obviously not see all of it because it won't be a very long video. I also don't know what else is going to be included in this video. I know I've vlogged a couple of clips like earlier in the week, but I don't know. I don't even remember like what I filmed in that was so we shot a little cameo from the American Girl Ball. Um, I just wanted to pop back on here. I was cleaning out the stuffed animals and I have like a couple really old ones that I've had for like ever. I found this one. So this is a teddy bear that I got when I was like four or five. I think from my grandparents. And it was before one of my surgeries. And I used to use, like have this a lot. But anyway, it's got like a little voice box in it and it like talks. So you like pull the hands apart and then you clap them back together and then it like says things. And I, for the longest time, thought it was, like, permanently broken. Because, like, it's just, it's really old. Um, so just for, like, fun of it, I turned it on while I was cleaning. I want you to know I'm thinking of you. And it still works. It's like a get well bear. And so it just made me laugh that it was still semi-functioning. Because I thought it was totally broken. Um, so, yeah, that was cute that I found that. I almost was gonna part with it, but it's like, it's like just really cute. Like it's got a little bow and it just looks like innocent and happy and just says love me. So I couldn't throw it away. I was like this close to doing it, but then it started working again and uh, my five year old self reemerged. And then I found all of my American Girl walls. So you can see one of them. And then I found my baby baby who has been through it. I think I've had her for 10 years. I don't know, it doesn't feel that long, but she's very old. Uh, this is Grace. She was girl of the year in 2015. So she, I've had her for six years. And then this one, I'm gonna see her shaking, uh, is from 2016. I got her during uh, a surgery recovery. Um, so yeah, I've nearly got them all stowed back away. Um, I put all of the bigger ones, like, on the top shelf. I'm gonna put all the smaller ones back in the little crate that I had them in. And then I'm hoping to clean out the floor of the closet and then able to just slide the crate in. But we shall see. Also, I might keep the smaller ones out because I have like a stuffed zebra and then a stuffed little dog and they're both very cute so I'd like to keep them out and then I found my Christmas teddy bear that I got a couple years ago and I totally forgot about him but like it's that season again so he's gonna he's gonna get some action oh and not be stuck in a crate so that's the plan we're getting there um I had major anxiety because I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? But then once I got rid of like the big stuffed animals, it, it, we were in business. I'm kind of contemplating whether or not to clean out that tote. Um, because it's like my seasonal tote, so there's like a mix of like winter and summer, and then I think like spring and just the beginning. But I don't know, um, because then I don't know where I put the things that are currently out of season. Cause I'd like to put those sweaters somewhere other than right there in those bags. And I would put them in there, but then I don't know where like I'd put all of my summer clothes until I try to use them again next year. But for the most part, I think it looks really nice. Like the floor. In the upper part, well, they've been giving me anxiety, but I really like it now. Yay! Alright, here we are. Um, as you saw, the closet is now finally complete, which is like the biggest yay me 
um, ever because this closet literally for like the last two weeks especially has like been giving me so much like stress anxiety and i just wanted it all dealt with and now i have dealt with it so yay me um so i thought with that i would get under a blanket and we just kind of chit chat um i think it'd be really funny to start off with um so this morning i woke up really early at like 4 15 and i wake up and i'm not normally i wear um my eye mask i have a really nice gravity uh blanket weighted eye mask and it's like the greatest thing in the world i can't sleep without it but for some reason um when i woke up this morning i was not wearing it which is like not a thing that only happens because it's always like the first thing that I do whenever I um, like finally go to bed. So I wasn't wearing the eye mask and that was weird to me. So I like felt around and it was still on my bedside table. And I was like, that's weird. But like sometimes I will just like weird things happen during the night. You know, you never really quite know. So I'm feeling around and the headphones are still on the charger. And I'm, and so I'm like, Ugh, I like really forgot things tonight. And then I'm feeling around and I can't find my phone on the bedside table. And normally I just like set it down, like right there next to me. And I was like, where is my phone? And I like look around and my phone is still in my like hand, propped on the pillow from when I was watching videos before I went to bed. And so then I start like going back in my mind. The last thing I remember, I remember looking at the clock and it was like 9.45. And even that's not a clear memory. But I feel like I looked at the clock at least once and it was 9.45. So I'm going off of that. So it was 9.45. And that's like it. That's all I remember. Like, I don't remember like shutting my phone off, putting my headphones away. Because that's a weird thing. Is if you would think if I fell asleep watching videos, um... A, my phone would still be on, it was off, and B, my headphones would still be in my ears, but my headphones weren't in the case, which I was thankful for, because um, if I had to dig through my bed to find these little tiny AirPods at four in the morning, <laughs> no, <laughs> like, that's not happening. So, like, I must have, like, what I think happened is... I must have started like getting ready for bed. I must have put the headphones away. And then I just like fell asleep. Like I have but the weird thing is, another weird thing, um, on top of it all, is that my Bluetooth on my phone was still on. Which is weird because whenever I take my headphones off, the first thing I do is shut the Bluetooth on my phone off. Because I will forget if the Bluetooth ends up being the last thing and will forget to shut it off. So that's weird if for for me to have taken my headphones out and the Bluetooth to still be on. So the gist of this story is from 9.45 until 4.15 this morning, I have no memory. I don't know what happened. I don't know when I went to bed. I don't even remember drifting off. Nothing. And so like I have no clue, rhyme, or reason as to why... I lost time last night, or what even really happened. Uh, but yeah, that apparently happened last night. Uh, my mom thinks it's hilarious. I don't think it's, I don't think I at least told it in a funny way, but maybe you found it funny. So if you did, um, yay for you. Uh, you've been entertained. But yeah, so, and I don't honestly know what this video is going to be because I know I have taken clips throughout the week but i don't know uh, maybe this is why i lost time but i don't know what those clips are so when i import the footage and i start editing then i guess we're gonna figure it out i do remember because i filmed on monday i remember saying that it was the best i was ever gonna look and then the rest of the week i just fall to pieces um i showered yesterday so I look pretty good if I do this for myself. So this is my second human day 
uh, of the week, which is a very good thing because by Saturday, normally, I have like turned into like a zombie. It's very bad. But so I'm very glad that I look decent. Um, I was gonna change uh, my letter boards. I have that one there. And the one there. It's kind of like opposite. Um, but it is kind of later in the afternoon and I don't really want to do that anymore. So I'll probably save it for tomorrow when I'm bored because tomorrow's Sunday, which yay we have another day. But it is our last day. It's our last day. I'm very, like, not excited about that, um, because then we go to school for a full week, and a full week after that, and a full week after that, and maybe one more, but I don't know for sure. I think it's, like, three or four weeks, which is fine, but, like, I just hate waking up and having to go to Spanish right away in the morning. It's horrendous. I hate it so much, but I will get through it, hopefully. I don't know why I'm so tired. It is like the question of the hour. Uh, but yeah, so maybe I'm gonna save the letter boards for tomorrow. But maybe I'll write a little bit or I'll watch a Christmas movie. Because I've really been wanting to watch A Christmas Carol. And they have the animated version on Disney+. Plus. So maybe I'll watch that either right after I hop off here or maybe tonight because I want to like start watching movies before I go to bed because I feel like that's a better way to spend my time than scrolling through Instagram or watching videos about serial killers and murders on my phone. Uh, so maybe I'll start that. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yes. Also, have you seen my new mugs? Those blue ones? I got them uh, in my favorite phone box yesterday, that came very exciting. Uh, so I got the new mugs and then I got a couple of face masks and I got new makeup brushes and a highlight and bronze palette. And yeah, I think, I think that's it. But I'm very excited for it all. Uh, but yeah, nothing much else is happening here today um besides me just hanging out and maybe i'll finally put to use uh because i've already got my planner decorated for december and like planned out for december but i have this like other thing other notebook that i could do some stuff in or maybe i'll write a little bit which i probably already said but i don't know i just oh cleaning out that closet really took a lot out of me but at least it's done. We don't have to deal with it ever again. Um, also, P.S. I love this blanket. I also got this in my box yesterday. I can't believe I forgot that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend, a good end to your Thanksgiving holiday, and your week starts off how you want it. Maybe I will. <sighs> This is like not normal. Maybe I'll see you guys sometime this week. But who knows? I don't know. Maybe I'll be passed out in oblivion with how my sleep patterns have been progressing. I don't really know. We'll see.